Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this homecoming look. Um, I realize homecoming is coming up sooner than later, so I wanted to film a fun homecoming look. And I decided to use all inexpensive products, besides like the exception of two products, but I gave a drugstore recommendation for those products to substitute with. Um, but I wanted to make it affordable products that way if you are in high school and on a budget you can still do this look and you can still achieve this look. Um, and basically I didn't want to do like the basic silver black smoky eye. I wanted to do something with a little pop of color just to make it more fun um, and just a little different. You can totally take away the technique of this video but you don't have to use the exact colors. You can use whatever colors are in your dress. Um, on the lower lash line or you know whatever you feel comfortable with I just thought it'd be a fun way to incorporate colors that are in your dress um, into your makeup without it being like overwhelming and like obvious that you're trying to match the whole look together so I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the tutorial Okay, guys so I'm gonna start off with my eyes um, there are going to be a few products in here that I'm going to give drugstore substitutions. Um, there's just like maybe two products that aren't drugstore, but I'm going to give um, like a substitution, like a product that I've used from the drugstore in the past. Just maybe I don't have it on me now. Um, but everything actually, not everything is from the drugstore, but they're all very inexpensive. So um, you may not be able to find it all at your CVS or whatever Walgreens but um, they're all inexpensive so you can purchase them online and I will leave everything you need to know in the down bar so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes and this is one of those products where I had to give a drugstore recommendation because I only use like higher end pro uh, primers because my eyes are so oily and if I use a drugstore primer it just doesn't have the staying power as like this one does which is by Too Faced. Um, this is the Shadow Insurance but you can get one by Maybelline. Maybelline has some eye primers and Milani has an eye shadow primer which is really good. It's like a clear primer it comes in a little silver tube and I would recommend either the Maybelline one or the Milani one and the Milani one actually is pretty good but I have that one in my kit just as a backup primer um so I'm not going to use it um myself but I'm going to use this shadow insurance and if you are um doing your makeup for homecoming you do want um your eyeshadow is to last all night, so I do recommend priming your eyes. Okay, next step is to set that primer, and I'm going to be using this CoverGirl True Naked Goddess palette. So you can pick this up at your local drugstore, and it has like a variety of natural, um, more neutral shades, but I'm going to be taking the first shade, which is like a matte cream color, and I'm going to use this to set my primer, just to get rid of any tackiness, and also get rid of kind of some discoloration on my lids, um, and stuff like that. So you just want to use this to set that area. Now I'm going to go in with the matte shade of the palette. It looks like this. And um, I'm going to put this directly into my crease. And this is just going to give my eyes some depth and um, help with the blending process. Now I'm going to take a bronzer because I want a really warm brown and that brown that I just used is a little bit too on the cool side so I'm going to take NYC Sunny Bronzer because it's a nice like warm brown and I'm going to use this in my uh, crease as well and this is just going to kind of warm up that brown color and um, yeah it's just going to look more flattering on my skin tone. Cool tones do not look good on my skin tone at all. Um, I am like a medium 
skin tone i'm usually pretty tan and cool tone shadows and contour shades um turn pretty ashy on me so i like to use very warm shades but yeah this is a little trick that you can use you can totally use your bronzer as um your transition shade and as eyeshadow um just an easy little trick you know it it's one less product that you have to use um and what's great about this bronzer is it's only a few dollars so can't beat that also i am using morphe brushes which are pretty inexpensive but still may be a little bit too expensive if you are a teenager and in high school so i did want to give the recommendation of maybe checking out bh cosmetics because BH Cosmetics has great inexpensive brushes, but their quality is pretty good. And you can also find brushes on like Amazon. You can get pretty inexpensive full brush sets. So um, there definitely are inexpensive brush options. I just like using Morphe and I have a lot of Morphe brushes. So that's brushes that I am choosing. But I would definitely check out BH Cosmetics or like um, even Coastal Scents um, or like I said, Amazon. Okay, now once I have my transition shade, I'm going to take this Revlon um, Photo Ready Eye Art, and this is in the color Topaz Twinkle, and it's just like a nice cream shadow with a glitter on top. It's really, really pretty, and I'm going to take the wand and apply this on my lid, and I'm going to actually use this wand to kind of carve out my lid space like so so you want to kind of just use this to kind of outline your lid space and this is going to be an awesome base for the shadow that we're going to use and then for the shadow that i'm going to use i'm going to be using this shade right here from the palette and also a little bit of this shade and then in the outer corner I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of this shade by using that base it's really going to make that eyeshadow kind of stick out and um, be as pigmented as possible that's why I love using a liquid base like that it just really makes a huge huge difference Okay, and then I am going to take just a little bit of that brown shade, that darker brown shade that I showed you, and just apply just a tiny bit of it on the outer corner. Nothing too intense, but enough to add just a little bit of depth in the outer corner. Okay guys, so for the next step, I'm actually going to be moving on to my face, and I'm going to be using um, a mixture of these two Fit Me foundations. Um, I really like them. These, <laughs> these. <laughs> this is my favorite drugstore foundation at the moment. I just really enjoy it. I'm going to be using the mixture of the shade 310 and 322. I'm like in between colors right now because um, summer is coming to an end, so I'm starting to lose my tan a little bit. But, which makes me really sad. But, yeah. So I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend this in. Um, but you can totally find inexpensive beauty sponges. I actually use them all the time. Um, but I just grabbed this one, so... Um, I recommend using something with that is more on the matte side if you're going to be going to homecoming just because homecoming dances, you know, you're usually <sighs> dancing and sweating and if you're using something that's super dewy, it's just going to kind of break up with your natural oils and it's just not going to look as good. So if you use something that has more of a natural finish or matte finish that's just going to look so much better so I recommend using something 
like the Fit Me Foundation or the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, something along those lines. Now, <laughs> I'm going to be using an Urban Decay concealer because I um, was using the, the Naked Weightless Skin Concealer and literally I miss it so much. I ha I've been out of it for like two months and I can't go another day without it and I bought it yesterday and I'm like I just need to use it. <laughs> but I did want to give you a really awesome option which is what I've been using for years and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This stuff is bomb. It is so good. Like I said, I just want to use this because I've been out of it and this is definitely my favorite high-end concealer. If there's one thing that I recommend like investing in is a good concealer because it just makes such a difference and I would definitely recommend this one. But the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is amazing as well. I use the shade Medium Light Neutral. I don't know what it is, but like the formula of this is just, it's just so good. I am going to highlight with this just because, um, you know, homecoming, you take pictures and stuff and you want your skin to look flawless and dimensional and not just like one shade. So I recommend doing a little bit of highlighting. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set everything, and I'm going to use this NYC Smooth Skin uh, Powder, and I'm going to use this to bake. This is actually a really good powder. It's super inexpensive, but it does the job. So I'm going to bake because, like I said, since you're going to be sweating and stuff like that, you want something that is going to really last, and baking really, like, lock your makeup in place. So I'm going to bake um, on the areas that I highlighted and then I'm also going to apply it right here to kind of clean up that contour and stuff. Okay, I don't like bake for that long, um, to be honest. I like to kind of let this sit for like at most a minute and then I dust it away so I'm gonna let this sit and I'll be right back okay so I let this sit and now I'm just gonna dust this away then I'm gonna take the bronzer that I use in my crease which is the NYC sunny bronzer and I'm gonna use this to contour and bronze um, this is a really nice like contour slash bronzing powder because it is matte it has no shimmer so it gives a nice um, shadow but I will say it's very um, warm like I was talking about before it's a nice warm crease color so if you are more on the fair side this may be too orange for you um, so I would just you know you would just have to test it out but you could use it probably as like a light bronzer, but I wouldn't use it to contour if um, you are very fair because like I said, it just may come off way too orange. Okay, so as for blush, I'm going to use this NYX Pinky Blush. It is a really nice blush. I really love NYX blushes. Um, they're super inexpensive and um, they're really pigmented. So it's just a nice like pink shade. That's really it. There's no shimmer. Um, it's just a nice like everyday blush shade. Um, but you do have to be careful because it is very pigmented. So you don't want to go overboard. Now time to highlights, and I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Radiant Lights. Oh crap! I thought I got the other one. I thought I got peach lights, but I didn't. Anyways, um, you can get this at Ulta. And it's only like $6. This is the first time I'm actually using this, so let's see. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, so it gives a very natural glow. It's not like over the top. It's not like super shimmery. It's more of like a... It's more of a subtle glow. Not really like a intense shimmery glittery highlight. I'm going to move back to the eyes and I'm going to be using this NYX Tropical Green Liner. And this is just going to go on the waterline. I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Coconut Eyeshadow. ColourPop is not found in drugstores. It is only online. But it's very inexpensive. These eyeshadows are $5 each. And they're super pigmented and just very unique. So um, I would definitely place an order with them because it's very inexpensive, good quality makeup. So I'm just going to take coconut and kind of put it on, I guess, the outer half of my eye. And this is where the color fun part comes in. You can use any color on your lower lash line that you want. It's just fun to use a pop of color, keep it neutral on the lid, and then use a pop color on the lower lash line. Once you have the blue on, you can go back in with the bronzer and use that to kind of blend out any harsh lines on the lower lash line. I'm going to use a little pencil brush for that. And um, it's just going to make sure that the blue isn't too harsh. Okay, the next color that I'm going to apply is this color. Um, also by ColourPop, and it's called Telepathy, and this was by the Kathleen White collaboration. Um, it's just an awesome, like, gold green color. It's very unique. Um, I really love it. So I'm going to use this on the more of the inner corner of my eye. And make sure to kind of blend it in with that blue and it not be like such like a harsh transition. Okay, so the last step is um, adding a little bit of an inner corner highlight. And I'm going to use the highlighter that we used um, on our cheeks. And I'm just going to pop this right in that inner corner there just to brighten it up just a little bit. Um, you can totally add liquid liner if you want. It's optional. You don't have to use it. But I think I'm going to use it just kind of tie everything together and make it a little bit more dramatic. As if it's not dramatic enough. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. I'm going to do the liquid liner off camera because it's really hard for me to do it on camera without getting out of frame. Because I need to get so close to my mirror. So... I'm sorry, but I need to do it off camera, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am going to apply some lashes. I'm going to be using the um, Glamour Wispies by Ardell. And yeah, I'm just going to get some glue on there. I just feel like lashes are going to kind of bring the look together. And I'll be honest with you, I messed up my liner. So in order to kind of hide that liner mistake... I'm going to pop on some lashes. That's a little trick. If you do kind of mess up your eyeliner, you can always apply lashes. It just kind of disguises the mistake a little bit. <laughs> While I'm letting the lashes dry, I'm going to apply some mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Okay guys, last step is lips. You can do whatever color you want. If you want to do something more bold, you totally can. But I'm going to stick with more of the nude combo just because it goes with anything and all the products are drugstore. So I felt it was a good nude combination and I actually wear this combination all the time. So I'm going to be starting off with NYX Light Brown Lip Liner.
Okay, once I apply my lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Maybelline Vivid Matte Lix Liquid, and it's in Nude Blush. And it's honestly just such a pretty pinky nude. I really love the formula of these. Um, they have a lot of color, but they're extremely comfortable on the lips and feel super moisturizing. Okay, if you want, you could totally stop there, but I am going to add a gloss, and I'm going to be adding Creme Brulee Gloss by NYX, and it's basically just like a pinky nude. Um, I just like glossy lips, so I like to add a gloss always. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this homecoming look. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.